This week in VR education news, MetaQuest 3 Lite, some new simulations coming out for drug overdoses, and some exciting work being done by the government of Ontario and Georgia College. Let's jump into it. First of all, we have some rumors stirring up that Meta will be releasing a light version of their Quest 3 next year. And this comes from some people that have put out rumors before that ended up becoming true and are kind of verified in the rumor space. And they were comparing the new Apple headset coming out in January, the Apple Vision Pro, to the Meta Quest 3 and just talking about how Meta is likely going to be releasing a light version just to continue to compete with Apple and uh, show that there are much cheaper versions out there. It's said to be around $200 USD when it comes out. So very excited to see what this might be as it would open up even more opportunities for educators to get their hands on this technology for their students. Moving along, very interesting story about mixed reality being used to better train responders. And so mixed reality allows you to see the real world but puts a physical or a virtual layer on top of that physical world. And it looks like here researchers are using mixed reality to create overdose scenarios so that people can be prepared for those as first responders. And I think this is an amazing use of virtual reality because it allows people to go into a virtual world without having to be fully immersed and learn how to use all the virtual controls because they're just using their hands like they would in the real world using mixed reality. And obviously this is a very important area to be trained in as drug overdoses have just been increasing over the past couple of years. So excited to see how this research continues to extend and how more simulations can be built out for these specific use cases where people can train and be prepared for very specific problems and challenges. Then I wanted to highlight uh, Rob Terrio's post on LinkedIn. He is working with OVIN, one of the parts of OCI, the Ontario Center of Innovation. And basically OVIN is their autonomous vehicle, electrical vehicle area of research and development. And very interesting that Georgian College and Rob Terrio, they've been working on some automotive simulations to teach high school students about the industry and get people interested in the industry as well as expanding that into the post-secondary space. So seeing that they have 28 headsets set up in a gymnasium, having students out of high school, St. Mary's Catholic High School to be exact, come into the headsets and experience this. And I think it's just an amazing initiative. And from what I've seen, it really picked up quickly. Um, just a few months ago, I saw Rob and his team doing some work on this. And now to see it already being delivered is just amazing work. So congratulations, Rob. And uh, really excited to see where this continues to go. And then lastly, next Monday, Expert VR is starting the Expert Explorer Tour. If you didn't notice, I am in the Expert Explorer right now, and we are starting our tour next Monday, going to Northern Ontario. We will be stopping in Sudbury, Timmins, North Bay, Ottawa, Kingston, and then likely back in the Toronto area before we start heading south. So very excited to finally be on the road, finally have the bus done. We will be putting the final touches on it over this weekend and sharing lots of videos and photos as it comes together. But uh, hopefully you're looking at some videos right now that Marvin's put together. That is all for this week in VR education news. Let us know what we missed below. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. See you next week.